hello everyone in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can create a sublet program and set a class path for that program and run sublet programs in your sublet engine using tomcat server i have, I have used a default tomcat server which comes with xamp so no need to install separate apache tomcat server for the, this purpose if you want to install separate separately you can but i have uh, installed xamp in my pc that's why i have not installed apache separately i have a complete video on how to successfully install xamp server in windows machines if you don't know how to install it so do watch that video and after that you can continue with this video so first of all let me create a sublet program but before that i have to show you the directory structure how it actually works so go to the xamp folder go to tomcat sub tomcat folder and inside the tomcat sub folder you will find a folder called web apps and inside it we have to place our web application so create a new folder and give it your name it would be your program uh, web application name so i'll give it a name as demo inside it we have to create a new folder called web-inf all should be in capital letter then inside web dash inf folder we have to create a new folder called classes folder and inside which our compiled java program dot class files should be placed so name it as classes and hit enter and inside our classes folder need we have to place a java java file we need not need to place a java file because inside it we only need a class file but for convenience i am putting it inside it so let me quick create a java program by using generic sublet and after that I'll show you how to execute it with the use of web.xml and etc. So basically what I've done is I have imp imported the all the necessary packages that are needed uh, like javax.sublet is responsible for the sublet request response. These are the references like req and res for sublet request and sublet response respectively. Then I have created a reference on an object that is uh, used to print a message so which is natively inside a print writer class so I have created that object and by the reference by using the reference of sublet response I have called the get writer method and using that I have uh, executed I have printed the message hello from sublet so let me save it by pressing ctrl s and from here we have to open our command prompt and compile our program using java c test.java it will give some errors like this because uh, we have set the environmental variables while installing java but we, we have not uh, set the class class path for the sublet operations sublet engines so to do so we have, we have to know the file which is responsible for this so go to tomcat folder and inside live folder live sub, uh, sub folder we have a jar file called sublet api.jar yeah this is the component of java file that is needed to execute our sublet programs 
to handle the api operations so copy the path and right click on this piece properties then inside uh, then click on advanced system settings and under environmental variables under the user variables we have to create a new variable called class path and we have to assign some values so browse click on browse file and select that jar file and it okay then okay then okay then close that and again go to that folder where our program is located inside zamp then tomcat web apps then demo web dash inf under classes folder or java file is there then open command prompt then java c for compile our program then it's showing some errors i have misspelled it let me correct it okay now we're done with again one error okay now it's successfully compiled and we are ready with our test.class file now we have to create a web.xml file which is responsible for execution process so along with the classes folder under web dash inf file we have to create a new file with ex extension dot xml whose name should be whose name must be web dot xml now edit with some text editors now this is the generic structure of our web.xml file that are needed to run our sublet program so inside the sublet class tag we have to put the name of our executable executed dot class file of our program so in our case it is test so put that dot class file name and inside the sublet name tag we have we can put anything any name that but the the name which we place over here the that that must be equal to the name inside the sublet name inside the sublet mapping tag so let me put a name for example i t e j and paste the same name over here and then under the url pattern tag we have to put the name with a forward slash and the name which we printed over here we must uh, we have to pass it under the url in the browser so let me so let the word be demo now save that file and close it now we are ready with a dot class file and a web web dot xml file now the time to run that run our program so close all the command line and program files now open zap and start our tomcat server you can see tomcat server is successfully started you can reach the admin page by clicking on the admin panel now i have to run our program
and according to our program it should it must be print the message hello from sublet so open any of your browsers and under the local host go to a folder named demo which is in capital letters now again go to a dot class uh, now you have to type the url pattern that we have mentioned in the web.xml file you can see it is demo so type demo again it is successfully printing the message let me show you hello from sublet so in this way you can execute a sublet program using xamp tomcat server thanks for watching see you in the next one